Do you think that you suffer from low self-esteem? Well, sorry, <laughs> but it's bullshit. There's no such thing as low self-esteem. In case you were wondering, uh, this term was invented about 60, 70 years ago. And it's funny how anything that you label, you're start, you start seeing more of. So whenever in life we, we start thinking about something because it was brought to our awareness, that awareness then creates the reality of that thing. I very much uh, like a quote uh, by L. Ron Hubbard and it, the quote is, it doesn't have to be real, it has to be real to you. So <laughs> you don't have need to have low self-esteem to have low self-esteem. You just need to believe that you have low self-esteem. You don't need to be in pain to believe you're in pain. You just need to think you're in pain. You'll be in pain. So what is it really? Um, it, it's a few words, low self-esteem, three words, that you've somehow associated because somebody labeled you, labeled you, it, you didn't label yourself, that never happens, and they took some characteristics of you and they told you, hey, you have low self-esteem and you believe them. So you, for example, you take somebody who doesn't work out and doesn't have any muscle density because of it, he says, oh, I, I have a, a, a muscle uh, a shrinking problem or I have a, a muscle growth, a non-muscle growth problem. Well, does he? No, of course not. He's simply not working out. Or many people are like, you know, I, have, I suffer from depression. It's not. You have a shit life and you're unhappy, you know, to, to be blunt. Now, I'm not saying, you know, there aren't any cases of uh, there's many cases of people not eating properly. Um, it, it could be caused by workout. There are some rare cases of uh, hormonal imbalances in the brain, chemical imbalances. But mostly, people that are uh, depressed, it's like, yeah, okay, when, you know, do you have the money you want? No. Do you have the, the spouse you want? No. Do you have the job you want? No. Do you have the life you want? No. Are you working towards that? No. Well, of course you're depressed. Your life is shit. <laughs> so yeah, back to self-esteem. Um, I hear a lot from people and I just had a call uh, very, very recently with a friend and he told me that he has this problem, which I had in the past, by the way, uh, of uh, anytime he gets um, into a good financial situation where he makes a lot of money, he somehow manages to to waste it and it's not like a, you know like an undercover thing like okay how did this happen he just has the habit that he wastes whoa sorry shit I almost died uh, <laughs> I'm saving that shit I'm not editing it authentic <laughs> let, let me know if you saw this in the comments <laughs> that way I'll know you watched the video <laughs> so so he says that he, um, he has a problem with money and again he's wasting all the money he's, ever, he's made and also um, that he uh, fails to maintain it uh, but that's of course that's because he you know wasted the money so then he says oh yeah it, it, it happens because I have low self-esteem that's the reason I have low self-esteem so when I make money I feel the need to waste it it's because I have low self-esteem it's because I don't really believe I deserve the success and I told him like look man you're whack like what the fuck no <laughs> now that you believe that that might be the case now that you believe you have low self-esteem you might actually have symptoms you, you, you basically just turned it into reality so when you when you label something you, you just you make it a reality like you get a person this pisses me off so much uh, you get a person who maybe sits all day and plays computer games or something and feel like oh he's lazy and that that poor guy believes them and he's like uh, oh I'm lazy I'm lazy that's my problem I'm lazy 
and now he, basically his life is structured around this false uh, uh, knowing that he's lazy and that's the problem and he's everything he does is like okay I'm lazy so how do I do this how do I do this oh I'm not gonna do this because I'm lazy 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 of course he's gonna believe it um, you know I, I know a woman uh, I'm not gonna tell you who that told me uh, that her son is lazy and I told because of the very same fact so she, he always played video games and I got really 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 pissed on at her because I told her look it, it has nothing to do with him uh, being lazy he's just misguided that's all he just doesn't know what his purpose is she's like no he's lazy and I told him no he's wasting a lot of energy he's playing video games 10 hours a day that's not lazy that's super focused he's just not focused on the right thing he doesn't know what to focus on so that's what he focuses on and I told her furthermore there's no such thing as laziness there's no lazy people there's just people that are not focused on the right things they're not lazy they're just taking action in stuff that are not productive <laughs> that's it that that's literally all that it is and or somebody's like oh he's uh adhd he has adhd he can't he can't focus no he just realizes that school is dumb and i adhd i call it a, a high uh, tolerance of attention for bullshit <laughs> uh sorry a low tolerance of attention for bullshit uh because uh people with adhd supposedly you know i'm like look uh i asked them or their parents did you ever um read a book like did you have ever have something you're really interested in yeah did you read a book about it or see like a you know a long 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 movie about it yes most of them actually tell me yeah i finished it in like five hours straight oh <laughs> can you concentrate on doing things you love can you concentrate while you do things you love yes Okay, and that begs the question, isn't somebody with ADHD, like, okay, let's say it exists, let's say you have ADHD, you have attention deficit disorder, isn't that supposed to be like a global thing where you can't focus on anything? Why is it that you can focus on the things that interest you? So again, it's just a lower tolerance for focusing on things that don't interest you that's 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 literally it and then you get Ritalin and sorry I just lose that there's no way and then you get Ritalin and that fucks you up yeah it's it's sad it's really really sad so yeah just finishing low self-esteem um, I told the guy that there's no such thing as low self-esteem there there's the characteristics that he told me about you know having the habit of wasting money and it's really easy to take care of it you just write down another habit for example uh, the habit of not wasting money and you uh, do that every day <laughs> and the only reason you might not be able to do that is again if you don't understand why you see no purpose but as long as you do uh, you're not gonna have any problem um, this is a very interesting video. You're not going to have any any problem doing that. And is that high self-esteem now? No, it's just you don't have high self-esteem. You just have uh, um, the behavior of saving money. Like, is somebody that was raised to save money, does that person have high self-esteem? No, it just has good habits. That's all. And one last example uh, that I want to give you is um, the example of uh, my computer. So... I have a MacBook for a couple of years now, a MacBook Air, like a really tiny, ouch, a really tiny um, um, MacBook Air 11 inch that I love dearly. It's, it's the most amazing laptop that I've ever had in my life and I love it so much. And I talked to one of my good friends and he uh, asked me to help him kind of find a good, a new computer for him. 
And he told me he wants a, a 13 inch uh, computer. So he asked me, um, isn't 11 inch too small for you? Like, don't you have trouble with it? And the moment he asked it, I'm like, first for the first time in, in, in ever in my whole life, I was like, do I? Wait, do, like, like I was sitting alone. I was like, do I have a problem with it? Like, is it okay? Is it big enough? Really? Yeah. It just, and I found myself getting like dissatisfied. I was like, no, it's too small. No, it's, it's not big enough. Could it be bigger? Yeah, I want bigger. Yeah, right, right, right. And I, I, I literally, it's, it's like psychosomatic. Like I literally created in my head suddenly the dissatisfaction. And the moment I realized it, I was like, what the fuck? And I just said, okay, fuck it. I'm not going to think about it anymore. Just get it out of my mind. And, uh, and realize how easily you can actually create realities just by putting a small thought in somebody's head. So from this day on, um, and this, this cute cat obviously agrees, um, no more labels. There's not a fat person, you know, there's the description of somebody who's fat, but there's no, not a, a slob, you know, like a guy who just is a fat fucker. Um, there's no lazy guy. There's no attention deficit disorder. There's no, um, you know, mean person. There's no um, low self-esteem person. There's just people with bad habits that can change them. And the moment you label it, you turn it into a character trait. And then it's more important for you to, to maintain your identity than to actually, uh, sorry, than to actually change the, the habit. So it's more important for you to be, oh, no, I have low self-esteem. Yeah, but you know, you can just stop wasting money. Just get the good habit. It's not that hard. Uh, you just slowly introduce it. No, but I have low self-esteem. It's like, okay, dude, obviously you don't want to solve the problem. You prefer to have your identity maintained. So, yeah, um, that's the problem. I have the identity of, like, I'm a guy who's consistent and I'm the guy with big goals and that's a, you know that's a good identity that's something that you know I don't want to change that like I, I want to I want to be like no I don't want to change my identity because because I have good habits attached to it that are all, always going to be good you know there's never a time in my life where you're like hey should you take action and improve your life oh uh, no of course not should you have uh, big goals and and that excite you oh uh, no no of course not there's always it's always the right time for that so, so if you're going to accept identities, then accept good identities that are attached to good, good, good habits, not bad habits. But also realize that they're fake too. Just, it's just habits. <laughs> That's all. Uh, cool. So I hope this helped you. I do coaching on Skype and I offer a free complimentary session. Um, Cat approves that you contact me. And I'd love to help you. Bye-bye.